It's a real pleasure to stand inside the Eleanor Baldwin Arena here on the FAU campus where so much hard work, dedication, discipline, sweat, tears, and joy, all of it coming together. Absolutely, and as WBTV anchor Shannon King found, there's another ingredient to the team's success, mm -hmm. and they call her Ellie. <laughs> Where do you sit? Up there. Right there. Meet yeah. Eleanor there. Baldwin. And you've been at every home game this season. I missed one. At first glance, you one. may not realize. And I watched all the away games on the TV that we could. This retired Boca Raton educator. How special is she to this team? Uh, she's very special. I mean, she believed in us from the start. Here. Eleanor Baldwin, affectionately known as Ellie, is number one. At every game, Ellie sits in her booth. She sits up there. Right up there. <laughs> do you see, do you yeah, see her? Yeah, I see her up there. Yeah, I see her up there with her husband, and um, it's a great scene to see her up there, uh, and I hope we're making her proud. She also has the front perch on the team bus. We stay at the same hotel. And they'll stop you in the hallways at the hotel. Yeah, they're very um, polite. And they're so nice. She's the first one that really invested in us. She made a great investment to our university and to our program. In November of last year, Eleanor Baldwin, already an FAU donor, gave a big gift to this basketball team. Yeah, well, it's going to look a lot better. They're going to refurbish it all. We caught up with her at center court to talk about the team's Cinderella story. How special is this for you? Well, it's just exciting and I can't even believe it's happening, really. They act like I started the whole basketball season for them, because they keep saying that the 30-day stretch of no losses started with me giving that donation. And I don't know, but it's just been great. It was a $7.5 million boost. I think it gave them the confidence and it gave them the enthusiasm and to have all these students in the stands cheering them on, I think was a big part of them getting excited about FAU because before so few of the students came to any of the athletic events. And now this stadium, this arena has been just packed so that people couldn't even get in the last game. With her donation came the naming rights for the Owls' home court. The students call the arena the Ellie, which is my nickname. And when I come into a building and they all chant Ellie, 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 and it's so exciting. <laughs> It's, the feeling is indescribable when you have a community, have people that uh, really love the university and they get a chance to watch you play on the biggest stage. So you'll board the bus with the team? Yes. And fly on the plane with the team? Yes. Ellie will be courtside in Houston cheering on her owls and doesn't plan to miss a single dribble on her home court next year either. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, this is called the Ellie, and I mean, it's been rocking this year, so uh, we're going to keep calling it the Ellie, and we're going to keep rocking the Ellie. 